Good morning. Out on the beach again. This is Tide Pool Tim, and we're looking at different types of seaweed, and one in particular we're going to look at this morning is called lava. Now, lava is a pretty interesting seaweed. It resembles sea lettuce, which is probably much more common. A lot of uh, schools and labs, textbooks, lessons are written about alva, which is sea lettuce. Very papery, thin, green algae that uh, popular food of all kinds of little beachside invertebrates. But what we're looking at in, in this case is uh, the genus is called Perphyra. And it's a very interesting little seaweed. It only uh, seems to last uh, in our area uh, here in Maine for a few months of the year. It's very, it's only one cell thick, practically see through. I don't know if you can see my fingers right through this layer, but despite it being that uh, thin, it's very tough, kind of strong type of algae. But this is a, a popular eating seaweed across the uh, across the globe. And what I think is interesting is a lot of times it's barely held in the hold fast. Uh, the hold fast being the structure that attaches it to the beach. And right here we'll try and pull this little perfira plant out. See what he's attached to. Of course it's not a he, but okay here we go. Let's see this rock. It's literally attached to that little small stone. And uh, it's in this particular habitat here. It is toward the lower tide mark, but it's below the zone where the sea urchins, which are the big grazers, can come up. And see, during high tide, the urchins would move up the beach and try and find some of this lava because it's a popular food they like to eat. But the problem with urchins is they can only migrate up so far before tide starts to go out. And so they never quite, this, these particular little lava plants that are here, never quite make it up the beach uh, far enough before tide starts to go out and they have to retreat. You can see bits of lava here attached to the stone. This is a larger holdfast, larger piece here. You can see there's several types of algae attached to the rocks. There's some, some bladder rack there, some ulva, sea lettuce. The bladder rack's uh, genus is Fucus. The tide's already starting to come in. <clears throat> and here's a mussel bed. See, there's not much of a distance between the mussel bed there and all the plants uh, in the uh, perfiver. There, on the beach. And the low tide line is pretty much marked by these mussel beds on an average low tide. So that's it for perfira or lava. One last thing is just give you an idea of what the sea urchins are capable of with those little sharp teeth. Uh, you can see here with this little uh, rockweed plant, a piece of knotted rack has been nibbled right down and chewed. Uh, and see, being down this much lower on the beach than the, than the lava, the urchins here are able to munch on rockweed and then retreat back as the tide starts to go out. And then when the tide comes in, they work their way back up and try to munch on these little marine plants. That's it for lava. Tide pool Tim. On to a new lesson.